Well, well, well. Guy Brush Threepwood, you do turn up in the strangest places. Return to Monkey Island. We're back at it, keeping you updated with the going-ons of our favorite pirate adventure game. Ron Gilbert came out with a blog explaining his thoughts on some of the negativity surrounding the art style of the game. He had some interesting opinions that we'll certainly get to, but quickly, before we get to that, the blog had some incredible nuggets that shed a little more light on the original plan for Monkey Island 3 all those years ago. Ron said, here's the deal. The totality of the idea was Guybrush chases the demon pirate LeChuck to hell and Stan is there. That's it. That's all it was. He goes on to say, We talked about my original hell idea, but other Monkey Island games had already done much of that by pure coincidence, and there was little point in rehashing it. End quote. It's important to note that he expected the story to start like that, but throughout the creative process, the story would have likely morphed into something entirely different. But I found this enlightening. We've heard him speak of hell, but we never heard that Stan would be there. I find that absolutely hilarious, and it really goes to show what the grumpy gamer's view is on Salesman. Another gem to harvest here is that Ron didn't really like the art style in Day of the Tentacle. He goes on to say, I never liked the art in Dot. Technically and artistically, it was fantastic, but I never liked the wacky Chuck Jones style. But that was Dave and Tim's game, not mine. They can do what they want, and I completely support that. End quote. This was very interesting to get his thoughts on the art. That's a nice little segue into the main topic of this conversation, of this video. The purpose of this blog that he put out was to express his views on Monkey Island's art and the minority of the fans that have expressed their disappointment in the artistic direction. He says, and I quote, When Dave and I first started brainstorming Return to Monkey Island, we talked about pixel art, but it didn't feel right. We didn't want to make a retro game. You can't read an article about Thimbleweed Park without it being called a throwback game. I didn't want Return to Monkey Island to be just a throwback game. I wanted to keep moving Monkey Island forward because it's interesting, fun, and exciting. It's what the Monkey Island games have always done. I wanted the art in Return to Monkey Island to be provocative, shocking, and not what everybody was expecting. Rex is an amazing creative force, and we have a team of incredible artists, animators, sound designers, programmers, and testers all pouring their souls into the game, and it's beautiful to see, play, and listen to. The music Michael, Peter, and Clint are doing is equally amazing. It's not ad-lib, sound blaster, or even Roland MT32 music. It's stunning, interactive, and recorded live. Return to Monkey Island may not be the art style you wanted, or were expecting, but it's the art style I wanted. When I started this game, my biggest fear was Disney wouldn't let me make the game I wanted to make, but they've been wonderful to work with. It's ironic that the people who don't want me to make the game I want to make are some of the hardcore Monkey Island fans, and that is what makes me sad about all the comments. Return to Monkey Island is an incredible roller coaster. Get on and have some fun or stomp out of the amusement park because it's not exactly the roller coaster you wanted. I hope you'll jump on with the rest of us. End quote. Very interesting read. Ron's never pulled any punches and he sure as heck isn't pulling any here. It does appear that he's a bit miffed over some fans' disappointment. Speaking of fans, here are some of the fans' responses to Ron's thoughts in this blog. Andy Adams says... We can't spend 20 odd years wanting Ron to be able to make the game he wanted, then suddenly start questioning his game when the powers that be miraculously allow him to even work on it. Thomas Zamankel says, I think most people are doing it in a polite way. Speaking of questioning the art, I mean it looks like a bad flash game art. You know it and I know it. I think he is just so up his own butt he can't fathom people not liking what he does. Laugh out loud. Ronald Van Middencorp says, It's a sad world when creative artists are being shat on for not being creative in the way that a bunch of nunchucks, who couldn't recognize creativity if it bit their collective arses, feel they have to demand. Benny Cook says, Sorry Ron, we as fans who didn't write any of the games know best. 
Clearly Benny was being sarcastic there. Bjorn Alsvog Meiselson, hey, go me, says, I can't wait for Ron Gilbert's new Monkey Island games. The graphics look awesome and the music sounds great. Pixel art is okay, but I prefer the modern remake over the pixelated version. My thoughts? While we've heard rumblings from some fans, it's important to remember that they are the minority. Most fans are just excited to get another Monkey Island game in any carnation. As I pointed out in my last Monkey Island video, with every update, with every new Monkey Island game in the past, the fans didn't respond well to the adjustments in the art style. Like any game, it's just going to take some use to. I am Joshua with Weird Gaming Adventure and the Adventure Game Hotspot. If you like the content, like it. Consider subscribing for a large back catalog and weekly adventure game videos going forward. In my next video, we have current adventure game and past devs giving their opinions on Monkey Island returning. Once again, I'm Joshua with Weird Gaming Adventure and the Adventure Game Hotspot, and we love you in a weird way. We'll see you in the next video, my friends.